See all these big boulders right here, all down in here. You see this big old deep hole right here. That's what you look for. See how that deep hole is? And you, you got shadows. See the end of my rod? You got shadows and little crevices between those rocks right there. And that's where their smallmouth will lie. And then when this minnow right here, see that minnow? See how it's going down? It comes floating down through there like that right there. See how that right there? They'll just they'll just run up there and grab it. There he is. I got him, y'all. Oh, it is. Lord of mercy, it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> he tapped. <laughs> he tapped on it. I tell oh, you. Look at him being that pole. Please. You get him in this current, son, they mean. Hey, that's a nice small mouth. That's a nice small mouth. Got him on that there. I got him on that shiner there. Look, oh, goodness. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Come here, small man. Uh, yeah, look at here. Look at that. Boy, I tell you what, that's a fine fish right there. Uh-huh. Look at Jack. That's a good fish. That's uh -huh. what we're after. That's what we're after right here. Yeah, they hungry today. Yes, sir. Good Lord, took out through there like nobody bit. Hello, folks. Welcome to Rocky Drake Outdoors. I'm down here on the riverbank with a good friend of mine, Jake, right here. How y'all doing? And Jake, he gonna show us a picture of a big old smallmouth he caught yesterday right here. And that's what we're gonna be fishing for today. And I'll show you the bait we're gonna be using. Hey, that's, look at that. Dang, that's Jake, what, that's, that's a what we're fine going for. fish. That's what boy. we're going for today. How much do you weigh, Rick? Uh, about three and a half. Well, folks, that's a big smallmouth for a small, I don't know if you call this a creek or just small river, let's say. It's probably about 75, 100 yards across there, but uh, we're getting ready to get started here. And uh, as we fish along, I'll show you what we're doing and how we're doing it. And all that good stuff, Jake. I appreciate you bringing me down here, boy. Absolutely, anytime. Oh yeah, we can get on. And I went by Buster's Bait and Tackle there in Huntsville, Alabama and bought some of these shiners. Uh, I'll show you one of these. Look at that, boy, what a big shine. Oh man, I guarantee you they're gonna eat that up. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this little thing right here. See, I got some water in it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get me several of these manners right here and put in here out of this big bucket right here. See right here? Put them in there and that way when I walk out, I don't have to walk back every time I leave one. Okay, come here, shiner. These are good big shiners right here. I like fishing bigger baits, especially for these bigger fish. Okay. Now let's go out here and catch one. Then we'll go over what we fishing with, our equipment, and all that good stuff here. Just hook him right up through the lips, just like it right there. That's the way I'm gonna hook this one anyway. And I, right now I don't have any kind of weight on there. I'm just free lining. But I might end up putting one on. The only problem is you get hung up a lot out here. Oh, folks, let me show you something. You gotta have some waders, too. I went and bought me some waders uh, at Cabela's yesterday just to do this, because I'm planning on doing a bunch of this. And uh, the water's cold. So, now you gotta get sneaky with them. Can't, can't, you, you need to whisper. Yeah, you gotta whisper, you gotta be quiet. You gotta, hear you, out here. you gotta whisper when you catch them. <laughs> <laughs> Got a big one over here. Woo! Good Lord, what a queer with a small mouth jack's got. I'm trying to get over here where is that oh yeah jake that is a fine small mouth there so good that's what we come for right there get him look at look at <laughs> get him up here hold on hold on look at that what one that's a nice one there jake <laughs> look at him that's what we're here for that's right what there. we're here for that's a picture taker right there yes sir good lord Right here, man. I'm telling you what, that's a fine fish right there. Congratulations. Folks, we finally got a good one. Jake did over here. He's professional at this right here. <laughs> Look at him. That's right there. Hey, you want your picture to it with that one? I'll take a picture. All right, let's get it. Hey, you want to weigh him? What do you think he weighs? I don't know. I got my scales. We can scale him. Hey, I'm going to go get my scales. We're going to weigh this fish just for the fun of it. Okay, see right there, zero, zero, zero. We're going to weigh this smallmouth, this creek smallmouth right here and just see what it weighs. Look at there. Almost three pounds. Almost three pounds. Two pound, 12 ounces. I'll take it. Yeah. Out of a small river. Nice fish. Ready? Look at there. Just going out through there she goes. Watch go through that sunlight right there. Mm. there oh, see her going back, right back in that hole. Look at that. Right. Congratulations. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what it's all about right here, y'all. Uh -huh. These boots I've got to do this with, 
These right here are White River boots. Got these, I got these felt soles on there. Y'all can see how right there, thick felt soles. I'm gonna tell you something. Them boots right there, you will not slip. Make sure you get you some felt sole boots to do this with. Cause you don't wanna slip out here and fall, hurt yourself, and you won't get to fish no more for a while. And you can do that real easy in this, these, these slicky rocks out here. Now these hooks right here, these are one-off hooks. A little bit bigger than what I normally use. I just found them at a damn tackle store. These are owners, these are real good hooks. And uh, they dig one out here. I like red hooks. I just think a little bit of red sometimes might make a difference in the bite. I don't know. And if you drop it, you can see it. See right there, I just dropped that one. And there it is. So mainly just small mouth, what you catch in here, right? Uh, small mouth, and occasionally we get those red eye. Uh, very, very rare do we get a large mouth in here, but normally our target fish is gonna be that small mouth. Small mouth bass. Yep. You got another? Goodness, boy, Speedy, he getting it, ain't he? What is that? Little red eye? Big old No, red that's eye. not a little red eye. That's big a big red eye. Oh, Jack's on a roll here. Look at, this. Look at this. Are you serious? We choked. That's Dude. about the biggest one I've seen. Look at that. He's got Have a you... little mark on his head. Yeah, somebody been whooping up on him. Y'all look at this red eye. See that red eye right there? Look at it. <laughs> that's a big one. That's a beautiful fish. My goodness. Look at look at the markings on it. Look how his fins have got little black tips. Beautiful fish. Just a absolutely beautiful fish. I'm gonna check the drag here. Let's check that drag. Oh, not too loose, not too tight. That's about right. If you look, you can see all kinds of layers of rock out in here. See, I, I hope you can see that. There's a layer of rock right there and a layer of rock right here and then there's more layers of rock out there. And in between these layers of rock, Something just got my bait right there. Shorty, why I was telling y'all that. Anyway, <clears throat> you got these little deep crevices. And that's where the fish are laying. And them little deep crevices right there. All out in here. That's where we've been catching. Yep, something just got my bait. See there? Well, I was telling y'all that. Look at that, boy. I got it. Well, let's put nothing on. Big old shiner right here. Yep. Let's throw it right up. Up there. A lot of times it's deeper than it looks, you know. The water's not real clear, but pretty clear. I wouldn't say crystal clear. Every now and then I'll, uh, I'll kind of twitch at that mana a little bit and make it do this down in there. Anything that'll excite those fish. Make them on bite. Yeah. Right out channel she goes. Down through there. <clears throat> just letting her just letting it drift down through there. And them fish, them them small mouth, gonna be laying with her nose right there in the current. Hid behind a rock. And that old man are gonna come down floating down through there around that rock and that small mouth just gonna run out there and grab it. That's what's fixing to happen. Oh, uh oh, oh, there's near tapped on it. Oh, it's good in here now. <laughs> this might be the best one I've caught today so far. Small mouth, too. Keep it going. I got him. Look at here, a big one. A big one. Let me get him over here and I can do something with him. This is a whole, oh, this is a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh, come here, best small mouth. <laughs> oh Lord! Nice Look at here! Look at that! That's one I'm talking about. That's the one I'm talking about right here now. That's what we're here for. That's nice. Yeah. Hey, get a picture of that one there, boy. Oh Lord! All right, thank you, small man. Let's turn this big pretty thing loose. There we go. No, not that way. Go that way. I done lost my, what I do with my pole? <laughs> right there. Where? You see it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Good Lord, I just throwed my pole down in the water. I'm done, <laughs> I got so excited. Uh, speaking of pole, 
I'm gonna show y'all what I'm fishing with. Hey, this is this ducket pole I always fish with. It's this Silverado. It's a medium heavy, a bass fish with it. I got this Johnny Marsh reel on here, about 2,500 series. And I'm fishing with 30 pound braid. And I got 10, now I lighten the line up a little bit. I think it's 10, <clears throat> 10 pound mono on this there. And I got it tied on with a uh, Alberto knot right there. See right there. And, uh, hey, that's a good small mouth right there. Now I love it. Mm. I mean, he tapped on it. You know what I caught it on? A real big shiner. Big one? Begging. And that's what you want. Yep. Bigger the better. That's what they want. Yep. All right. That'd do it again. When you're fishing these small creeks and rivers, one thing you got to watch out for is these overhanging limbs right here. See them hanging down? But you'll be easing down through and you get a big bite and you go to set the hook. And it messes you up so really a shorter rod works better for this kind of fishing you don't want no big eight nine foot long rod doing this right here the pro just showed up here look, look here. about that yeah chris look here. guys <laughs> now chris jake's brother and they fish right here a lot and these guys know what they're doing what you got chris oh lord is that a small mouth he got him one hey he just caught a big one Chris, he just got up here. First throw he made here, he got him Come one. Here, baby. <laughs> Good Come lord, here, baby. that's a nice one too. Ah, woo! All right, boy. I tell you what, <laughs> these boys know what they're doing now. Yeah, <laughs> I can take lessons from these boys right here. I guarantee woo! you that. That's a nice one there. Pretty, pretty fish. That's, that's a good, good one. deal, Chris. Was that your first throw about? That was. First throw. <laughs> He just walked down here. We've been fishing, but me and Jake, we've been fishing over there about two hours. Chris just walks down here and throws out here and gets a old big smallmouth. Now Chris, you hooking yours a little different, ain't you? Are you? Oh wow! Look at that. Yeah, Chris is hooking his in the tail right there. We hooking ours up there, or I am. Look at mine up his lips. That might be the secret right there, boy. I don't know. It's worked. Now, folks, when you do this, right now this water cold out here. She so pretty much got to have some kind of waders on. And uh, Jake, he got some. What you got on there, Jake? These are Mag Twos, uh, some Magellans outdoor uh, yeah. waders. Of course, you're going to need some wading boots as well. But yep. I really like these because it does have the two pockets oh, right I, here. Yeah. You got a, a little cell phone holder right here. You got yeah. another pocket inside here. Mm -hmm. So of course, everything is watertight. Yeah. So if you do fall down or anything like that, uh, everything will stay dry. Yeah. Okay. And of course, in the winter time, it does help because this water is cold. Yep. Chris, you had to come down here and show us how to do it right off the bat, didn't you? Hey. You know what's part of the game? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we all we all caught we all caught good fish today. Seemed like every big smallmouth we've caught so far has been on the big shiners or the big 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 mouth. Anyway, folks, going to the house. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll see you next time.